Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I may or may not have done in the past. I cannot remember if I've ever tried this challenge or not, but maybe. I know that the accepting all trades and stuff, it's pretty fun, but it can get kind of repetitive. So if we want to break it up, then we could try this one on for size. So still involves a lot of trades, but this time instead of the computers coming to me, I'm going to the computers. Gotta trade all of the players on the roster, not on the roster, just on, you know, the four lines, three defensive pairs, and the two goalies before the end of the season. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get fleeced quite a bit because there's not going to be a ton of good players on the block. That's the, the goal here. I have to trade whatever is presented to me when I do best lines the first time. All 20 of those players, they got to go. And yeah, let's uh, jump into it here in honor of the Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup. I'm going to be using the Avs. So let's jump in here and see what we can do. I already know I'm going to get roasted for a lot of the trades I make, so <laughs> it's just inevitable. Inevitable. Let's try to at least make the playoffs. If we can do that, I'm going to be gassed. Let's go to... Actually, let's uh, sim up to the... Right. Mm, we can start... Uh, no, I'm going to sim up to the regular season. Okay, and then... I will do best lines, and I will start looking for some trades right away. Okay, and okay. I think there's one more. Boom. Scouts. There it is. Edit lines. Who do we have here? Yeah, obviously, we got the big line there. And Kadri, Nichushkin, that guy absolutely lit it up in the playoffs. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of players on this team that just really stood out in the playoffs. I think... Um... Wait, where'd he go? He was just there a second ago. Oh, wow. They're actually... Scratching Lekkinen, but he did very well in the playoffs. This is our offense. So I'm actually just going to take a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to go to our defense. E. Okay. Not great chemistry there, but I'm also going to take a screenshot of that. And in net, Kemper and Pavel. I mean, I guess technically I don't have to trade every player. I just have to make a full new starting roster. None of these players can be on the team once the trade deadline passes essentially because I can't make trades beyond that point. Let's start looking for some now, shall we? If I wanted to find a trade for just McKinnon, can I? Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Okay, what about Bowen Byram? Was he even on the team? I don't remember seeing him. I think he was scratched. So technically, I could keep him. <laughs> okay, that's fire. This is the only trade we get for Byram and it is Rossi, but... Like I said, he wasn't even in the lineup, so I can technically keep him, and so I'm going to do just that. I honestly feel like one of the hardest parts of this is going to be trying to stay within the cap. Truba, he's making $8 million, which is a little bit rough, but, you know, he's a good player to try and get. And it looks like, let's just go to, oops, skaters matching the block here. Yeah, he's like the only one that is actually... A decent overall that we would want in our starting lineup. So who can I get rid of? Why is Kadri's trade value so low? That is a little bit outrageous, but I guess, you know, one man's opinion. That would put us over the cap already. Hmm. What if they retained a little bit? Could just do like an 85 defenseman for an 85 defenseman, but have them retain a million cap. I don't think that's going to work. They're probably going to be like, uh, no, but let's see. No, not gonna happen. It looks like I could still give the Rangers like five-ish million dollars in cap there. And let's try to do that so that, you know, we can free up some room for us maybe. And that would put them over 50 players. We could take in someone. That trade value looks somewhat even. If we go here, we could just take Skinner maybe. He's got the lowest trade value. That would go through. We're getting rid of Eric Johnson. Okay. And Andre Burakovsky in exchange for her Jacob Truba. I feel like we're being fleeced, but let me let me see if there's anyone else here that we could try to get rid of other than Burakovsky. JT Comfer, maybe? I'll try it. No, not gonna happen. Not sufficient at all, you say. Let me just throw in Burakovsky then. Let's see if this will work. Boom. Trade accepted. Yeah, it's like uh it's not a trade that they they think they fleeced me. So I'm kinda happy about that. Wow, the Flyers have some good players on the block. Yeah, this is huge for us. I'll take pretty much everyone here, honestly. Because I want to try and make this done well before the trade deadline. We don't have a lot of players that they actually want, which kind of sucks. But 
we can still try to make it work here. Okay, by removing JVR, we get a little bit closer. But it's still going to be tricky. Because I have to give up like four more mil in order to make this trade even go through. And I don't know who will be a part of that. I guess I could give up Gerard. Because then, if we're getting Ryan Ellis, I mean, he's 86. Yeah, we're getting some good players here. Two defensemen as well, so it's okay to give up Gerard. But in that case, I feel like Rantanen is almost too much, considering these guys are all on the block. Ah, but then we have to get rid of 9 million no matter what, so... What if I tried to get rid of Kadri and we have, yeah, a little bit more there. And Taves? Will that work? Philly will have more than 45, and we will still be just over the cap. Obviously, I can't get rid of... Well, I mean, I could get rid of Truba, but I'm not going to do that. If we can somehow convince them to retain 1.15 million of Hayes, then we're, we're in pretty good shape here. But let's see. So yeah, this is a massive trade. What do you think? I guess I, this is a video. I can't ask you what you think. I just got to do it, basically, and then get roasted later. Who knows if... Actually, they're probably going to say they're finessing me. Here we go. Proposed trade. Yep. Alex Newhook called up to the NHL and... Oh, never mind. It's just a done deal. Okay. We are making some money moves. We could still try to get JVR, but yeah, it's going to be tough with that cap. And then on top of that, Brent Burns, Eric Carlson, two pretty hefty contracts here as well. Eight million. We could do... No, because that trade value is just going to be outrageously in their favor. Okay, there's not a whole lot else going on here, though, unfortunately. I'm going for another big one. There's a bunch of, like, 80 overall players here in Shiri. Uh, Mojo and Hathaway, and then we got Lars Eller and Timothy Jimothy as well. They will free up a lot of cap space with that. We are going to try our best to get rid of a big contract here, which I suppose could be Rantanen. And that will not work, because we'll have more... Oh, I guess we could get rid of some more players, but yeah, the cap still just not going to check out. Hmm. Okay, we'll get rid of Rantanen. I feel like we're gonna have to make our team significantly worse for this to work. I can get rid of Darcy Kemper, who kind of helps out. So 3.5 million is enough to make it work. What about Pavel? Not quite. Not quite. But if I'm giving them Rantanen, I can retain a lot, or have them probably retain a lot of salary here. So let's just play around with it, see what we can do. Once again, we're getting rid of <laughs> 91 overall Rantanen. 84 overall Goaltender Pavel, we are just not in good shape right now, but uh, hopefully we can make them retain 1.1 and 1 from Lars Eller. So let's go ahead and... Oh man, I don't like this at all. But we do have to move these players. I mean, we could bring in... We could try to trade them for someone else, but I guess I still have Makar and McKinnon that I could trade for other big names that aren't actually on the block but for now I'm just trying to get some depth players in here so we'd be getting rid of two roster players and bringing in a bunch more players that we could put on the lineup so this should go through I think yeah you know what actually hold on I could cheat the system a little bit here how much <laughs> how much can I push them have them retain 50% of <laughs> Timothy Jimothy's salary and it's still gonna go through I'm gonna try to retain as much cap as possible okay so that's fine let's see just toggle it until it's going to work. And I'm assuming this trade is 1,000% going through still. So there we go. All right. We're probably still going to get the message like, hey, you suck. You just got wrecked. But oh, never mind. Not even. The thing that sucks about McKinnon is that he's only making 6.3. How are we going to make this work? Luckily, I did free up quite a bit of cap. We could try to bring in the other Nova Scotia lad in Sydney the Kidney. Exchange Nate Mac for Sydney. Both 93 overall. It looks like Nate Mac actually has more value, which could possibly offset the fact that Crosby's not on the block. Let's try it. Trade accepted. I really like the looks of this one. So obviously we're getting rid of Kale McCarr, which I don't want to do, but we don't have a choice here. And I'd be getting a goalie, which is nice, to replace Pavel. And obviously Kemper's going to have to go. And we're getting another, like, well, three defensemen, not just another. Getting three D-men here. So let's try it. Will it go through. It will. All right. Lilligrid and Miska being called up. Let's do it. Get out of here, Toronto. Maybe not the best trade in the world. I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. We're getting two Anaheim Ducks, 85 overall players here in Terry and Zegris. And then we're trading away Landeskog and Ichushkin. I wonder, is this going to, it's going to free up a lot of cap space for us again as well, which is splendid. Will they accept it? I feel like definitely not. 
We're gonna try it though. Oh my goodness, they did it. I think I might save Darcy Kemper for the trade deadline and see what we can get for him then. We do have some more players we could trade. Although I do feel as though we have enough players to make a whole new roster. One way of looking at it, but should I trade these other guys? Maybe. This will get rid of Manson and Murray, which would be the last two defensemen that were on the starting lineup. Propose? Trade rejected. Okay. It's like the same player, I guess, filling the one spot. So that is probably why. I don't know what we're going to do in terms of trading away draft picks with the... The law will be for that, but... Okay, Brady's not happening. What about Drake? Will this go through? It will. Now that we've freed up a lot of cap space, we can actually bring in Brent Burns. Would be a good defenseman to add. And this is the last three forwards. Proposed trade. No. Okay, we tried. All right, changing it up a little bit. We are adding in Oscar. And doing a trade for uh, Brent Burns. And then Bolsers as well. Oh, I see they have... Hill on the... Hmm, that'd be another goalie that we could add. He has, like, no trade value, 80 overall. And then we could trade Darcy Kemper for a forward, potentially. If we get rid of... Okay. All right, let's try it out. JT Comfort will be gone. Boom. Okay, the, come on. Get out of here with that. We're going to have too many players in the organization, especially defensemen. But we're going to try to get Giordano as well, and then the Wayne Train and Spezza. And I guess that will conclude it. So, propose the trade. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Boom. We have a lot of centers. We got Trevor, Kevin Hayes, Lars Eller. Newhook is a center as well. Spezza. And then I guess... I don't remember Mojo being a centerman, but apparently. So here it is. The full new team. We got Crosby, Atkinson, and Oshi. And then our second line is very good. Third line, pretty solid. Hayes, Eller, and Newhook. And then our fourth line... Love that for us. Defensively, we've got Riley and Truba with a zero. Ellis and Giordano get a plus five on that second pair. And then Muzzin and Burns get a dash one, but it's okay. In net, we have Jack Campbell and Hill. So, let's see how we do. I feel like maybe I took the wrong strategy in not trading superstars for other superstars. But you know what? This is the first time I'm doing one of these. Possibly ever. I don't know. I could have done this in the past. If I have, I don't remember it. So, we could... Adopt different strategies in the future. But for now, oh my goodness, the Flyers have already fired their... Well, to be fair, I did take a good chunk of their starting roster there. So far, this team of new faces is doing pretty good together. I'm going to set us as a buyer. Let's enter the deadline, see if we can find some other trades. Any big names on the block? All right, so right off the bat, two Colorado Avalanche players here, which, nope, they are unattainable. Voracek, yeah, we could grab him. Nachushkin, unattainable. Manson... A lot of players we traded away back on the block. Don't like to see that. Voracek, we cannot find a trade for him. Sorokin, we can. Troy Terry, hmm. I think I'm going to stick with Jack Campbell. Or we could do hate. Okay, no. Batherson. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. We take that. Okay, sure. Deal. There's another big trade. Detroit gets Taves and Kadri in exchange for Ole Ulevi at first and Edvinson. Okay, there we go. We got Sorokin and Campbell. That is our offense. Yep, defense. Okay. I did best lines and it just moved Burns up, but we'll try it out. Why not? So I think, yeah, there's not really a big difference there. Minus one, minus two. Who cares? Our AHL team has to be lighting the lamp. Like, there is no way these guys aren't destroying the entire league right now. Look how good they are. Defense? Eh, still pretty good other than, you know, some line chemistry issues. There you go. Problem solved. Ta-da. This is why you have me. Oh, look at that. Screw you, Lilligren. You could be on the last pair. We take that all day. And in net, Hill and Hunter. So, if we're not going to win the Stanley Cup, at least we will have a great chance at the Calder Cup. We are currently second in the division, so we are making the playoffs. That is spectacular. We got the St. Louis Blues in round number one. Let's have a look at how everyone did. We got 80 points from Crosby, 43 wins on the year for a total of 93 points. St. Louis is right there as well. Wow. So they were hot on our tail. If we go to the entire league, let's find out where we finished there. So the Edmonton Oilers... Ended up winning the President's Trophy by 7 points. And we are down here somewhere. Okay, we finished 11th. Is it top 16? It is not. Detroit is out at the 16th spot. San Jose made it in at 17. Okay, there you have it. 
And let's check out some individual stats, shall we? Sidney Crosby, almost point a game, 80 points. Oshie with 58. Troy Terry with 52. Holy crap, 52. I feel like I got to promote this guy to the first line. That's wild. Cam Atkinson, 51. All right, so Crosby's the, the goal scorer, apparently. He's normally the playmaker guy. Trevor puts up 48. Riley, 43. I'll just scroll through the team here. How are our goaltenders doing? Sorokin, not so good. An 889, 20, 22, and 2. But we don't know how he did for New York. So... Oh, he just did even worse for us. Awesome. I feel like I pick him up a lot in trade deadline and whatnot. And that's probably going to stop. <laughs> Jack Campbell with a 9-11 save percentage. Six shutouts on the year. 34 Ws. Not bad at all from him. Let's go, Jack. Check out the entire league just to see how other goaltenders matched up. We got a 9-25 down there from James Reimer. Attaboy. Uh, 9-15 from Smith and Markstrom. 45 wins from Jacob here. A 9-18 from Flurry. 9-11 from Bobrovsky. Let's check out the defenseman. Kale McCarr with 84 points on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah. Could have saw that coming from a mile away. Quinn Hughes with 74. Adam Fox, 70. Dougie Hamilton, 64. Roman Yossi's up there as well. Moritz with 61. That's great to see. Forwards. We got McDavid with 109, the only player to break 100, and he did it convincingly. Dreisaitl with 98, Malkin 93, Kane 93, ADB 92. Rantanen gets 91 with the Capitals. All right. Yeah, I feel like I was paying too much attention to other teams' trade blocks. I should have just traded for other superstars, but you know what? We're still in the playoffs, so I still consider this a moderate success. Although we are about to take a first round L to the St. Louis Blues. Okay, never mind. Oh, that was a pretty quick round. Only five games. Now we got the Wild, and we beat them. We're in the conference finals against Calgary. No way. We are in the finals against Kale McCarr and the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they absolutely demolished us. But we made it to the finals. Wow. Fire me up. A full new team. And we get 43 wins on the year, make it all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Not bad. Trevor. 19 points in 20 playoff games, you mad lad. So obviously we know that the Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup and that Edmonton won the President's Trophy. All the team awards were known. Connor McDavid with the Art Ross and the Hart Memorial. Kale McCarr gets the Norris. McDavid with the Lady Bing. Moritz with the Calder. Yeah, that's well-deserved from that season. Nylander with the Conn Smythe. Reimer with the Vesna and the Jennings. Edler gets the Bill Masterton. Mathot gets the Jack Adams, O'Reilly with the Selkie, McDavid with the Ted Lindsay, and Evgeny Malkin gets the Rocket Richard. Let's check out the playoff tree. Last but not least, so there you have it. What a run from the Colorado Avalanche. Almost won the Stanley Cup in real life and virtually, but not quite. The Toronto Maple Leafs ended up beating us in the finals there with the new edition of Kale McCarr. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and... Yeah, if you want to see me do like an expansion draft version of this or something, go ahead, let me know. If you think I should aim for, you know, trading superstar for superstar kind of thing, like I did with Nate Mack and Sidney Crosby, let me know as well. I'm curious. Or do you think my strategy of aiming for the, the trade block and getting a lot of good depth players as well is the move? Could be a combination of both. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.